Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another beginner friendly song tutorial. In today's session we're heading way back to 1939, breaking down one of the most recognizable American standards in You Are My Sunshine. So for this lesson we're going to get started with a really basic form of chord melody that's mixing together chords with the melody line. That'll be for your intro, then from there we're just going to have a simple 1-4-5 chord progression in the key of A for your verse sections where we'll apply a basic country style strumming pattern. You can follow along using my chord sheet and tab at patreon.com slash swiftlessons, support the channel there, and gain access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now, let's get started with a full demonstration of the tune. I invite you to follow along, see what you can figure out using your ear, and then you can jump into the instructional segments. Let's get started. One, two, three. As I lay sleeping, I dreamed I held you in my arms. When I awoke, dear, I was mistaken. So I hung my head and cried. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies all gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I always love you and make you happy. If you'll only say the same, but if you leave me and love another, you'll regret. Someday You are my sunshine My only sunshine You make me happy When skies are gray You'll never know, dear How much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away You told me once, dear You really love no one else could come between But now you've left me and love another You have shattered all of my dreams You are my sunshine, my only sunshine You make me happy when skies are gray You'll never know, dear how much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away In all my dreams, dear You seem to leave me When I wake, my poor heart pains So when you come back And make me happy I'll forgive you, dear And take all the blame you are my sunshine, my only sunshine You make me happy when skies are gray You'll never know, dear, how much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with a little bit of chord melody for our intro section. Real slow, it's going to sound like this. One, two, three. Okay, breaking that down, starting with line number one. We're beginning with an A major chord fret it, 
And throughout this section, we're going to be creating melody lines by lifting the pinky on and off and targeting individual strings. Okay, so measure one's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, and four, and... All right, so that was second fret D, second fret G, then the open B string. Okay, that's gonna set up the A major chord strumming to get started with measure two. All right, so that was a strum of the A major chord. Second fret B. Another strum, you can do from the D string to the B string. And then zero two on the B string. Put that together with measure number one and we have, you are my sunshine, my only. All right, then the third measure of line one sounds like this. a melody to kind of walk us up into the next chord, which will be D major. So I strummed again, but this time only to the G string. So A, D, and G. Then second fret. All right, second fret again on the G string. And then zero on the B. And then two on the B. All right, that measure again. Okay, and you put measures one, two, and three together, and we have one, two, three. Without the count. All right, then that will get you to line number two, which sounds like this. A little bit more repetitive. Okay, so line number two introduces a new chord, D major. For the beginners, second fret of the G string, the third fret B string, and the high E string second fret. Strumming from the D string to the high E. Okay, fingers arched, so everything is ringing nice and clear. Okay, measure number one is going to begin with a short strum, D string to the B string. Then grab the high E string second fret, a full strum of the D major chord, Upstroke on the high E string open, and then the third fret of the B string with downstroke. You put that measure together and we have. All right, that gets you to the next measure for an A major chord, just a strum from the A string to the B string. All right, then we're going to do that walk up again, second fret G, open B string, then to the second fret of the same string. That once again gets you to the D major chord, where we're going to repeat the first measure of line number two. Okay, put all of line two together and we have. Okay, and of course that's gonna go along with the lyrics. You could sing along with it. Okay, then that will get you to line number three. But first, let's put together lines one and two. Okay, performing what we've learned so far, getting started with line number one. One, two, three. Okay, now moving on to our third and final line. It's gonna sound like this. All right, then back to the A major chord where you could let it ring out or jump right in to your alternating bass strumming pattern. Okay, so the first measure of line number three, again, it's gonna sound like this. Strum of the A major chord. All right, striking the G string. 
the D string, then switch into eighth notes, two zero, G string, and then the open B string. Okay, put that together, we've got. All right, now note that upstroke at the end. Whenever you switch to the eighth notes, you wanna start alternating the pick. All right, then onto the next measure we're gonna play. Okay, so I strum the A major chord. Here I like to start just going from the D string to the B string. Then grab the third fret of the B string. All right, then introduce the five chord in the key of A, which is E major. All right, I've got the second fret of the A string, second fret of the D string, first fret of the G string. Strumming from, in this case, the E string to the B string. All right, then we're gonna finish up, zero two on the B. And then finally, go to the A major chord and either let it ring out or jump right into our strumming pattern. Alternating on the E string and the A strings. Okay, you put that together and we have. Okay, now playing through the entire intro section. One, two, done everybody you have that chord melody instrumental intro down that's excellent for developing your picking accuracy and also building up some confidence if you're a beginner guitar player now we're jumping into our verse slash chorus section where we're going to learn a slightly more advanced strumming technique than you might be used to an alternating bass pattern that is synonymous with a lot of country music especially from this era of the 30s and 40s okay so demonstrating our verse section it's gonna sound like this with the lyrics one, two, three. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies all gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Okay, let's break that down. Okay, so that was very simple. It started off with the A major chord. We're gonna have that for two measures, followed by a measure of D major, another measure of A major, then we're back to the D major chord for a measure, back to the A major chord, all right, then a measure of A major to E major, and then back to the A major chord for a measure, and then you'll start the next verse or chorus. Okay, now let's take a look at this strumming pattern. Now there's a lot of different ways you can do this. If you're a super beginner, you can simplify this and just do downstrokes um, or even just stay constant on a single bass tone. But the way I'm playing it is striking the A string, then strumming the chord, all the strings that are below that root note. So bass, strum, then switch into my low E string, bass, strum. And each time I strum, I'm really only strumming from the D string to the high E string. Okay, so A strum, E strum, A strum, E strum would be one measure. One and two and three and four and all uh, eighth note strokes. Okay, another measure of the A chord. Before moving to the D major chord. All right, now when you've gone to the D chord, we need to change up our picking. So we're gonna play the D string, strum, and then go to the A string. Okay, now this is called alternating in fifths. So if you take a look at the space between the notes A and E in the A major scale, you'll see that they're a fifth apart. And the same can be said for D and A. Okay, so this is a very common 
bass pattern that we have in a lot of different types of music, but specifically in country music. Okay, so now we're ready to play through all of line number one of this verse slash chorus section. Getting started with our A major chord. One, two, three, four. Sunshine, my only sunshine, you make me D major. Okay, now moving on to line number two. We're going to the D major chord for one measure. You know what to do. D strum, A strum, D strum, A strum. And back to the A major chord for one and a half measures. One and two and three and four and one and two and. Now here's where we're gonna change it up. Jump to an E major chord. We're gonna play the low E string, strum, then alternate to the A string, second fret, followed by a strum. Okay, so that split measure of A major to E major should sound like this. One and two and three and four and, before returning back to the A major chord, for one measure, Though, to be honest, you can actually hold out that last A chord as long as it takes for you to remember the next verse. Okay, so you put the entire verse slash chorus section together, and we have. Let's see if you can sing along. One, two, three. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Just like that, congratulations everybody, you're ready to perform. All right friends, thanks so much for checking out this beginner-friendly song tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash lessons. hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in, please subscribe, please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.